Topping our news this hour, homelessness in Kern. It is a signature topic we are tracking for you here on 17 News. And today there was a sense of optimism. The city of Bakersfield and the county of Kern have finally turned the corner in developing an effective strategy for housing our homeless and helping them improve their lives. 17's Eitan Wallace covered a meeting today where members of the Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative offered a progress report. Eitan? Well, Tammy, that meeting was called for by Bakersfield Assemblyman Vince Fong. He and Congressman Kevin McCarthy have requested periodic updates on the plan of action being developed. Now, as you see right here, stakeholders offered the latest information regarding two new homeless shelters approved just last week by county and the city of Bakersfield. Both shelters together will increase shelter space by some 600 new beds for our homeless. We also learned that a bridge housing project for homeless women has been reached with the Sunset Labor Camp in Lamont. And city officials say Bakersfield police responded to nearly 440 calls for service from the city's homeless rapid response team last month. We don't see this type of collaboration in other parts of the state. The fact that we have our city, our county, our hospitals, our mental health providers, our addiction service uh, providers, our law enforcement, the fact that we're all engaged, sitting in the same room, sharing ideas, sharing best practices, uh, I am optimistic that our community will be leading the way in addressing homelessness in our state. I think anytime we can get that many people that make decisions in the same room working towards the same goal, it's a good thing. Uh, it's unusual for a community to get that many uh, of the decision makers together and so I am grateful that we can. Both the city and county will be applying for state funds earmarked for homeless programs to help reduce the fiscal impact to their general fund budgets. Meantime, the new shelter is being developed by the city and the county should be up and running in early 2020. In studio, Aton Wallace, 17 News.